All right, hey guys, uh, standing here in DMG Mori Hoffman Estates. It's one of my favorite buildings in the country. It's really clean, really white, you know, black and white everywhere. So these <laughs> MTD mics are really popping off, you know, <laughs> sticking out like sore thumbs. But uh, really happy to be here. I got my buddy Jeff Harbord. We used to work <laughs> together in this very building. A uh, good friend of mine, and we're standing in front of the NHX. So, Jeff, you want to just introduce yourself? And... Uh, sure. I'm uh, Jeff Harbord. I've been with DMG about five and a half years now. Um, started out in the Hoffman Estates building here. Now I'm back in Oregon. So, sweet local AE guy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you work a lot on the NHX line. Yeah, right, uh, the, the NHX stuff. is probably my favorite uh, machine platform. Just it's the one I spend the most time on. Um, I think they're a really solid machine. Um, so yeah, like yeah perfect. Well, sweet. We got the right guy. We got the expert. It's his bread and butter. So. All right. So once once you start looking at 400 tools, right? You're going to have redundant tooling. You're running lights out. How easy is it to set up a tool life management system? Um, pretty straightforward in general. Um, so you'll want to have some sort of idea of how long your tools are going to last for, obviously. So you know, set up. Uh, your count, usually I like counting things by time, so it'll keep track of how many minutes every tool's been cutting for, and then, you know, as soon as that gets to be, you can set up warning times, so it'll warn you when you get close to that limit, or you can just have it flag tools after they reach a certain point and start grabbing your redundant tooling immediately. Um, so that's pretty straightforward, and then, you know, for lights out running, you can also get into stuff like load monitoring, so if something lasts a shorter time than what you might expect, you can get an alarm before it just explodes on you. Okay. Uh, you know, you can do a lot for tool breach detection on these. We have tool breach detection both in the magazine and uh, with the uh, pop-up sensor built in for, uh, there's a little pop-up sensor by the pallet there that sure. will uh, do tool breach detection too. So you've got two separate ways you can do uh, tool breach detection in addition to load monitoring, in addition to just counting your tool life and swapping tools out before they blow up. Between all three of those, hopefully, you know, you keep this thing running without uh, interruption. Okay. Yeah, so. so a million different ways you could handle it, huh? Yes. And that's there, really there's nice. lots of options. <laughs> that load monitoring is really like breaking into that, you know, that industry 4.0 buzzword where we're going for predictive rather than pre preventative, right? It's like Yeah, so you can teach the machine what the load should be through certain parts of the program and then if it goes outside that range, either loading up higher because your inserts are getting dull, whatever or you know, dropping off because you snapped your drill off in your part somewhere, and now it's trying to drill with air, um, then it'll throw an alarm either way and awesome. save you hopefully some headaches down the road. Nice. Overall, a great machine and a great sell for running lights out. Yes, uh, for sure. Good. All right, well, thanks, Jeff. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> no man. problem. Yeah, it's always great seeing you, man. <laughs> thanks, sir.